This week on eTalk, Danielle shows us the latest spring fashion trends. We take a journey to the nicest places to spend a day, and Nellie learns how to work out without any equipment. And we talk about great plants to grow in your apartment. All that and more coming up. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to eTalk, where we talk everything from LA to Elon. I'm Madison, here with my lovely co-host, Rachel, Nellie, and Mary, and let's jump right into the hot gossip this week. Um, so first, first, Caitlyn Jenner, reality star, but she's going to take her first scripted role um, in Transparent, which is, for people that don't know, it's an Amazon streaming show um, starring Jeffrey Tambor. He is the lead role, and he's playing a transgender woman. Um, and just kind of how her transition works, mm -hmm. how her relationship with her family and friends changes, and he actually won a Golden Globe for it, I think, yeah, yeah, I think so. um, for Best Lead Actor. So. I'm interested to see how her acting skills are because I'm sure most of the reality TV show they do is acting already, mm -hmm. even though it's a reality TV show. Yeah. So I'm interested to see. I feel like she actually will be really good. I mean, Kourtney Kardashian Ooh. was all, like, did, I think, Days of Our Lives are one oh, of yeah. those. Oh. And <laughs> oh, yes, not the did. best. And she, she even, did, um, that was her major in college. Yeah. Was, theater. was it really? It was theater. First of all, the fact that she went to college is a miracle in itself. <laughs> yeah. I just think if, wait, where if did she go? Caitlin, she went to I Arizona. Think, Arizona. Oh, she graduated okay. from one of the Arizonas. <laughs> I don't know which one. <laughs> I, did, you guys watch, did you guys watch Transparent, though? I've, I've seen seen it. It's once. really good, it's so really I hope good. that Caitlyn doesn't ruin it for me. Yeah, <laughs> I just think if she can pretend to love Kris Jenner for over 30 years, she can pretend to do anything, so <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of anyway. new productions, mm -hmm. actually, Snow White has a sister. Who knew? Her name's Red Rose. Get it? Because, like, Snow White, Red yeah. Rose. Oh, actually, um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> incredible. <laughs> so Disney's coming up. Apparently, it's, like, the Grimm's brother. Like, they came up with her. So she's an original fairy tale. Like, Disney didn't just pull this out of nowhere. Um, but so they're making a new production where Rose Red saves Snow White from being poisoned by the apple instead of a prince, which is, I like the I twist. I like that. But that twist, it sounds yeah. a lot like Frozen to me. Yeah. Uh, oh. I fell asleep during Frozen. I've never right. seen Frozen. I've seen, I've seen Frozen a lot of times. I've never seen Frozen, I and I, I Frozen. never want to. I, okay, now every single word. I watch the song. Yeah, it's great. I've seen an inappropriate amount of times Thank for you. a twenty-year-old yep. young woman. But I think that sounds like Frozen. But I really like not having a prince. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't That's know if cool. there will be no prince at all. I feel yeah. like it's Disney. They're gonna have to throw yeah. a prince. Yeah. But I'm interested to see how it's like. Me too. I, I, I don't like know if it's going to be a cartoon or an actual live so action. So wait, is that I'm not sure the yet? The original Grimm's Brothers fairy tale is about Red Rose saving it's, Snow White. No, no she's that's just the a part character. Just an, but okay, they're making okay, that it. part up. Okay, cool. as far as I can understand. Is there oh, any talk cool. of like who's going to be in it? Or I have no idea because I don't even know if it's a cartoon yet. Yeah. Or if it's interesting. It's probably going to be a while till it comes out. Yeah. Probably. Probably. So, yeah. well, Speaking of animated characters, <laughs> Taylor Swift just released a new um, commercial for Apple Music. Our favorite person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, well, first of all, I think it's really bold that she took her music off Spotify and then is appearing in this mm -hmm. new commercial for Apple Music. Okay. Like, started. Well, she, even, she wrote the open letter to Apple Music. She originally yeah. wasn't a fan of them. It's either. very yeah. confusing. I'm sure there's quite a bit of money involved. Yeah, and oh, she needs it. Well, <laughs> when, when, if you guys have seen the commercial, there is a lot of money involved because it essentially involves her listening to Jumpman and singing Jumpman, mm -hmm. which is like pretty entertaining in itself. <laughs> yeah. And then she just like eats it and like hits the treadmill really hard yeah. and falls off and like, so I like Taylor Swift, I Wait, do. Wait, what's the point of the commercial? It's that, okay, it's, it's distractingly good is yeah, the, like okay, the tagline. So she's like Jumpman and then she like falls and like hits her face and then she like, she like keeps singing. And like, I, whatever. So at first I watched it and I actually like Taylor Swift, but like mm -hmm. there's something about her that just, you know, we all feel it. I mean, mm -hmm. Makes I you want to die. You're yeah, right. sure. Like Kim Kardashian or Chris, she doesn't act, and I'm yeah. sure she'd be terrible at acting. Yeah. So, like, seeing her in a commercial, yeah. I feel like that's not like Or just, thing. like, in general. So, like, a small part of me was, like, the first time I watched it, I was like, this is so stupid. And the second time yeah. I watched it, I was like, a small part of me is actually satisfied from watching Taylor yes, Swift fall. Yes, no, okay, so I so only saw it because strategic. I followed Drake on Instagram because yeah. he's, like, one of my many husbands. And yeah. <laughs> I was, like, so it was so weird because I was scrolling down my timeline and I saw because it was a video, but it, you know, fro froze for a while and it was just her face on a treadmill and I was, like, I need to watch this. <laughs> and I did and I was, like, yeah, man, this is great. And then she just Eat, fell, yeah. eats it, eats it. I would rather she posted instead of the commercial her actual workout plan 
I yeah. would benefit from that much more. Yeah. I feel like she like she probably she does doesn't exercise work out. just she yeah. does a little bit, but I can picture her like it's not, not having that to. hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I was gonna say <laughs> in those commercials when people fall and just like <laughs> destroy themselves <laughs> how do they do that i don't know how do oh, they do I that was it a job and there's no like, cutaway like i yeah. watched it like four times to yeah. see it. like there was some cut really well so done. that it, it really is well done yeah. and i really think it's a good like marketing tool because you either have a taylor swift fan who's like oh my god i love taylor i don't care that she fell like she's Wait, so quirky so yeah. or you have people who despise her <laughs> and they're like i <laughs> loved watching taylor swift like just yeah. fall i so want a slow-mo version though yeah <laughs> like you have you I'm and sure then you have like us and then like you reach everybody so at first i was like this is really idiotic and then I was like this is really smart that's yeah. also her low-key throwing like a big F you to Spotify yes yeah. that's Just what I mean oh yeah. definitely yeah I'm gonna be an yeah. Apple music yeah, like ever. you commercial well, did I go buy all of her and... albums yes I did I bought them all on iTunes <laughs> so. speaking of people getting injured but this is like serious so Tracy Morgan um, mm -hmm. was that really bad car accident there was a fatality um, he had to relearn how to walk speak everything he went on Oprah recently um, and he talked about his experience with that and how ever since the accident, uh, he's, you know, viewed life in a different way, which I understand. He talked about mm -hmm. valuing his relationships more, um, all that stuff. But he did mention that he thinks he went to heaven for a little while and talked to his dad who passed away. Oh, yeah. And his dad was like, I'm not ready for you yet, Tracy. Like, oh, I just have goosebumps. No, I, I don't know. Know. I think, like, that's so sweet. Like, <laughs> sure. Anyway, <laughs> no. Like, that's what do you guys think about this? Like, I, when people say these things, do you think that you I can like actually like? I think know. that it Being real. I don't. Well, think not he, like a religious <laughs> way, but like. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I think it was just it was like a um I don't like a dream of mm -hmm. sorts or I don't know what it's actually yeah. when you're mm -hmm. in an accident like that if it's called a dream, but I'm guessing it was just more of a, a dream. Like hallucination. He, yeah. yeah, like a hallucination or something. I mean, he probably like he was like sure he was in like a coma. Yeah. But I didn't think he was gonna wake I up. I mean, that's, that's so, like really hard to bounce I mean, back from. I think. It would definitely change my view of. Well, he's um, not someone who's usually taken very seriously. He's a yeah. comedian, obviously. Yeah. So for him to come out and say something so serious, I think exactly, is mm -hmm. very big of him to do that. Like I yeah. think it's really cool that he shared that with the public. You know. And he said he didn't realize how loved he was. He was like, I didn't really yeah. think people valued my work that much, but then Aww. I got hurt. And I was like, I saw him coming really back upset. to SNL and hosting, and everyone yeah. was so happy to see him again. Which I mean, obviously, yeah. but it was a really cool thing mm -hmm. to see. And he's still funny. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I was great to hear. Yeah. Imagine he just woke up and he like wasn't funny and we're like, oh, like try so we do with Tracy Morgan now. <laughs> <laughs> but but really yeah, like, they were gonna like help him breathe by putting like a hole in his neck or whatever, and like mm -hmm. then his wife was like, "Don't do that. He's an entertainer." <laughs> he is, <laughs> but he but is. Yeah. <laughs> also, also if it's also a matter life, of life or death. Or death. Um, but, but no, he's that's, okay. That's really interesting that he came out and like said that he right. felt he went to heaven. When, you it know, was interesting. Do you think and I'm sure Oprah down? was like, yeah. Wait, is Oprah like, still on the air? Okay, so this is a quick she's on the now. own network. Yeah, so you're it, right. And she I'm was not like, sure. I think she has occasional. Maybe interviews. he, yeah, I think she, it was an interview. He didn't go yeah. on Oprah. I miss Excuse her. Me. Yeah. I feel a void in my life. Yeah. You miss Oprah? Yeah. I, I never watched I, her. Yeah, I never I did. watched Oprah. Hard with my mom when I was Hard. Like seven. I was again in Ellen. I was more in the Ellen generation. I'm only you know, here guys. Either, <laughs> the Ellen way, they're generation. daytime television. They <laughs> not attend whatever. school. I, see, yeah, I took mental health days a lot. <laughs> yeah. so I same. needed him in elementary school. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but coming up, we could talk, I'm going to talk to Danielle about updating my spring wardrobe with the latest fashion trends. Hey, I'm Tyler Perry. Do you know what hunger in America looks like? Well, it has many faces, and 16 million of those belong to children. Yet billions of pounds of food go to waste each year, and this is unacceptable. You can be a part of the solution. Join us in supporting the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks, which rescues our surplus foods and provides meals to many families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org today. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Welcome back, eTalkers. I'm here with fashion expert Danielle, and we're going. To, she's going to show me how to transition into spring weather. So, Danielle, what are your, some of your favorite looks this season? Well, I love the spring personally. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite season because it's my birthday season, but also because you can finally start putting away your sweaters mm -hmm. and get out your warmer weather clothes. So for me, that means my two-piece look, which is going to be really, really big this year. Uh, last year, it was also kind of on the scene, but yeah. again... Um, I feel like last year was when it was like coming into yeah, the scene. Yeah, exactly. So you might still have some pieces, but the matchy-matchy is now back in fashion. <laughs> it's a great time to pull out your midi skirt. Um, I personally am wearing spring florals, which mm -hmm. um, is not always the most original, but instead of going for a pastel floral, you can 
as the skirt does kind of take it a little bit of an edgier spin on it. Yeah, and it's with awesome. a black background. It's like the inverted look. Exactly. So we have some more models. Juliana is up here modeling the Pantone color of the year, <laughs> which is rose quartz. It looks great on her. Um, she's paired it with white rolled pants. So you're, we're kind of at that awkward time, especially here in North Carolina, where mm -hmm. like it's you know in the high 40s, low 50s in the morning, but it gets to like yeah. 70s. You never really know what to wear. A really good bet is just a nice pair of pants that you can mm -hmm. kind of roll up. She's paired it with some great strappy sandals that go really well and really pull in the whole outfit. So it looks great. Thank you. Up next, we have Sarah, and she is wearing a jewel tone dress, a very nice shift dress, which mm -hmm. is always great for this time of year because it's nice and breezy, and again, when it's warmer, it's really nice to pull out. Um, she's paired it with some nice gold accessories, which really tie in with the jewel tones. And one of the big things we're probably going to be seeing um, a lot this uh, season is these nice cutout shoulders. I was just about to say I love the cutout shoulders because I also, I get really cold, but I don't want to wear long sleeves all the time. Yeah. So I like the cutout shoulders. It's a, yeah, it's a great way, especially if sometimes if you have like a, like this has a higher neckline, um, it's a great way to show a little bit of skin without being really yeah. obvious, which is kind of one of, sort of what we're going for this um, season is like, this shows a little bit of midriff without being too much. So yeah. showing skin in a wear it to class, very wearable type mm -hmm. way. Thanks. Okay, and finally we have Casey coming on up, and she is so showcasing a sort of a bohemian look with the off-the-shoulder yeah. type shirt, which I personally love. Uh, quick note on that, make sure you, like Casey's doing here, always wear a strapless bra with yeah. that. Uh, but it looks great, she's paired it with um, some nice distressed denim, which again, we're getting into mm -hmm. warmer times, so you can definitely pull off a look that um, has some holes in it so that, you know, you get some That's air That's definitely, flowing. I love having like the holy jeans and yeah. even the like boyfriend style jeans and I like how yours are high waisted because it gives it a more feminine feminine shape to exactly. it. Exactly yeah it really ties in the billowy top. I also absolutely love her shoes they have a little bit of tassels going on um, and fringe and tassels is mm -hmm. again going to be really really big this season so any way that you can incorporate that into your look is fabulous. Thank you so much. And I especially love how in the spring I can finally paint my toenails and they're yes. not hidden. Yes. <laughs> I can treat myself go to a all pedicure. Out. Go all out. But yeah I can I'm obviously not dressed super fashionable because I'm going to be on the workout block. Yeah, you're going to go work out. I'm going to go work out, but I'd like to think that my bright sneakers and neon top sort of tie Yeah, in. you kind of got like the second Pantone color of the year going on your what sneakers is that? a little bit. Um, it's a nice blue color. They've got kind of a pink and a blue color going on. So. Because I know Sephora always does their Pantone color mm -hmm. of the year makeup, and theirs was crazy this year. They had this whole lip gloss set, and one of them was blue, and I couldn't figure out why because yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, they did two this year, which is like... New very and different. exciting, yeah, but they go very well together. So. Definitely, yeah. and I also think that it's great that they have these colors tied in and how jewel tones are a great way to transition from fall to spring. But thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Um, and next we're going to talk about the great places to go on these fantastic North Carolina spring days. <laughs> and bananas I want to eat 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 apples and bananas I need to eat 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 apples and bananas why can't I eat 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 apples and bananas One in five children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Hey guys, it's Melissa here.
What's up, eTalk? I'm Charlie, and I'm out in Hillsboro, which is only 30 minutes away from uh, from Elon, and it really has some great things to offer, uh, like the Riverwalk, where I'm at right now, actually. It's right downtown, pretty close. Um, and it's also got great restaurants like Laplace, and the Wooden Nickel, and Radius Pizza. So it's a great place to spend your break. Um, peaceful, but it, lost, it, got, it has lots of activities as well. Um, and I hope you can make it out sometime. All right, thanks, E-Talk. What's going on, E-Talk? I just finished up a day at Martinsville Motor Speedway for the NASCAR race, the STP 500. Uh, as you can see, I'm very sunburned because it's a beautiful spring day. And on beautiful spring days like this, there's a lot of stuff to do around the Elon area. There's NASCAR racing some weekends, there's horse racing, the Carolina Cup just happened, there's minor league baseball games, Green, uh, Greensboro Grasshoppers in particular is very close, there's other minor league teams around North Carolina area, you can go out and support the Elon baseball and lacrosse teams, sports teams like that, and even UNC, Duke, High Point go to games like that. Sporting events are always good on a nice spring day. Go out and have some fun with some friends and enjoy the weather. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, We're back and Madison and Danielle are going to show us how to work out in the comfort of your dorm without any equipment to get ready for summer. So what moves do you guys have for us today? Um, well, I think a couple of things that I wanted to talk about first was um, if you don't have equipment, what you can use mm -hmm. to replace equipment. Um, so one of the major things that I, well, first off, the way I form my workouts is I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Yes, me too. And yeah. that's my favorite. It's free. They can go anywhere from five minutes to an hour long. Yeah, I think they're great, and they have like all the different channels. You can do cardio, Pilates, yoga. Um, so one of my favorites is called Blogilates. Yes. Blog. I love Ila love her. She's amazing. Yes. Cassie Ho. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. Um, but one of the things that she always talks about that you can use in lieu of weights is um, you can get water bottles and you can fill them up with either water or uh, sand, if you have that on hand for some reason. Or she said she's <laughs> even You don't have weights, but you have sand. <laughs> you have sand. Um, if you live by a beach. Um, <laughs> I guess I live near the volleyball court of Oaks, so I could just so like, you go. go out there. And, yeah. um, or she says she's even heard some people using kitty litter. If you have a cat, Ooh, you can also use hopefully that. Hopefully clean. Everyone. Yeah, hopefully clean. <laughs> but um, So that's definitely something you can use in lieu of weights. Um, and But even one time, we only need one weight, and I have a really big box of crayons. And that <laughs> worked. <laughs> There you go, getting creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a big fan of body weight too because I am not that creative. So if I'm not at the gym with weights, I'm like, uh, I guess I'm doing a push up. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. so I'm a big fan of planks, especially. I tend to do those. I try to do them at least every day or every other day. Yeah, and planks work your entire body, mm -hmm. and I feel like especially things like push ups because those work your arms, upper body, and core. And I think that's also because also personally, I work out in my apartment because I look so. Me too weird and scary <laughs> when I do exercise and I just get so self-conscious in public yeah. doing it that I don't work as hard so I do it and I do it especially in my room because I don't want to bother my roommate um, so I have like a three by six little area to do all my moves yeah. in so I think it's especially important to find those moves that target multiple parts of your body but also don't take up too much room. too much space and too much time yeah, yeah I'm like in out time. done yeah exactly I, I, I think like a amazing thing about these like workout videos and body weight stuff is that I'm such like a person who makes excuses and I'm like I can't work out today because mm -hmm. I'm on vacation or I'm here and like when you can do these things with nothing but your laptop if even your laptop yeah. mm -hmm. and you can be anywhere and do these with no equipment like it's such a good way. You have no You can even use your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have Anything. your phone. I know like Kayla. Pinterest is a Pinterest, great resource. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can print you can do printables so if you for some reason have no internet access. Mm -hmm. I know Kayla it signs or it seems whatever you pronounce it. Yeah. She has her sweat with Kayla app. Yep. Blogilates has her own app. There's so many like If you're into dancing I discovered this guy called Fitness 
Dennis Marshall, and he does <laughs> dances to all these cool songs, and he's hilarious. Love. That's where I got the term feel your fantasy. <laughs> I, I guess it's when you're really in the groove, but I don't know. But it's really very motivating. So real quick, not to put you guys on the spot, but before we wrap up, do you have any favorite moves that you guys could like bust out on Absolutely. our purple carpet. Danielle. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna do a away. quick vinyasana flow for you guys, because right. yoga's my jam. Um, so it's a little bit of like Should stretching. Yeah, we can kind of come down. And then uh, also, I don't you, know if I have my armpits so much. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold the plank and then do a chaturanga push up, which you wanna make sure that you keep your arms by your sides mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. lower, mm -hmm. hover, and then come up. And if you can keep your knees off the floor, it's great. And then you go back and step it back up and you're back up. It's beautiful. That was, <laughs> that beautiful. was my favorite. Yeah. I, I don't know if I can follow that up. Like I said, I'm so self I Because I, I have a mirror in yeah. my room. I see myself work out. Yeah, it's me not too. good. I have like a very thin mirror, and like while I'm doing my workouts, I catch myself sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, I can't be in public. <laughs> I, no one could ever see yeah. this happen. But um, one of the major things that I just wanted to add is that after I work out, regardless of what my workout is, if it's yoga, Pilates, cardio, um, it's always important to stretch. Yes. And yes. I even do it on my bed because yeah. my butt, you know. Yep. Do you want a cushion? And um, there's obviously like the important. The one of the things that I was always told that you want to target is your IT band, so that's mm -hmm. like here, and um, a move. I'll just okay, um, but a move you can do to target your IT band is when you go like this, and it actually feels really good. And it's like the closer you can move your foot up, and it's the, better the more stretch. the more intense the stretch. Yeah, and so that's definitely one that I would suggest doing. It takes zero room. You can literally do it on your bed, like I do. But yeah. Wow. Well, guys, this has been very informative, and you're very brave to perform in front of us. <laughs> but um, up next, Rachel leads a discussion on how to capitalize on the nice weather by growing some great plants in your place of residence. Stick around. Hey, I'm Tyler Perry. Do you know what hunger in America looks like? Well, it has many faces, and 16 million of those belong to children. Yet billions of pounds of food go to waste each year, and this is unacceptable. You can be a part of the solution. Join us in supporting the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks, which rescues our surplus foods and provides meals to many families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org today. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat? One in five children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. I rescued Toast from a shelter in 2011. I love Toast because she's a lazy diva. Toast does whatever she wants, obviously. She's sleeping right now. She's an epic snuggler. She's so comforting. She's so loving. Toast makes me laugh. <laughs> when I walked into the shelter, I knew right then that she was special.
and I'm back with Madison, and we're going to be talking about some gardening tips for when you are in your dorm room. Or apartment. Or apartment, excuse me. Not all of us live in a dorm like this girl. Um, so, <laughs> apartment life. The easiest way, I guess, to do it is to put it all in one pot. First of all, because you don't have that much room. Apartment life. Dorm life. Freshman. <laughs> I'm not a freshman. First year. Um, and so, okay, so basically how you're going to pot these is put a little bit of soil mm -hmm. into your pot. And you can pick anything. Obviously, you can pick whatever pot that you want. Uh, I like this one because it's blue. And I like we blue. We love blue. We love blue. So everyone blue. else has to also. Um, but you can also get those clay ones. Yeah, those are fun. Paint you can it yourself. decorate them to say your name or, you know, whatever else you want to say. So here we have um, oregano. Basil and mint. Mint's my fave. And basically, we're just going to put these all in here. So the oregano and mint are the lucky ones because I guess the holders that they're in are dirt and biodegradable <laughs> or something. So we can just pop those in they there. They are dirt, just like <laughs> me. Um, but we can squeeze them a little bit so they can all fit. Yeah. Don't be afraid to get aggressive. A little down, a little dirty. <laughs> these are bad plants. Um, awesome. And then we're going to squeeze great. the oregano in there with the two. Mm -hmm. And just like, yeah, like she said, don't be shy. Like, it doesn't um, matter what happens. But unfortunately, the basil, we're going to have to pop right out of there. Yeah. And I actually really like touching dirt, which is a weird fact about myself. I don't. When it gets into your fingernails and stuff, it's just like very disappointing. But it's so easy to get out. Mm -hmm. and, and then you're like, going to put some more. It's such a calming feeling. <laughs> At least I think it is. So yeah, okay. you're just going to squeeze it all in there. Mm -hmm. And it looks weird right now. It looks like they don't fit, but they probably <laughs> We promise will. they do. We promise they do. It's just... It's TV, you know. It <laughs> adds some weight. It adds some weight to our plants. So yeah, and then you're just gonna fill in mm -hmm. the soil to pack it all in. Just make sure it's all so, yeah. you know stable, steady. Um, and one of the major things also about dorm gardening, dorm um, or apartment gardening is that obviously a lot of apartments and dorms do not have ample sunlight. Yeah, I guess so like, you're gonna they need have to windows. pick some plants yeah. that, like me, shouldn't be in the sun too much. <laughs> Or you can also buy um, their special lamps, mm -hmm. and they help um, the plants go. I guess they have, um, they, they, what's the word? They're like the sun, but uh, <laughs> artificial, <laughs> if you've heard of but light. <laughs> um, but so fake. Um, they're kind <laughs> of expensive, so if you are committed to the gardening game, it's mm -hmm. worth it. If not, you can always line some up on your windowsill, or, um, or you can just... Hope for the best. Yeah. And Much like my fish that I left for two weeks out of time. We can put <laughs> oh, food. <laughs> this and this is food too. And this is food too. You can eat this. And let's my, eat some mint. Let's <laughs> eat some mint. And at, at home, my family does this. Mm -hmm. And it's you just feel so you feel so in a garden, going outside so <laughs> and plucking off the things. And I honestly think it tastes better. And I think also one of the great things of growing it yourself is that it, it might be a little bit more money, you know, to go out mm -hmm. and buy the um, pot and to get the soil and all that. But you are you are saving money in the long run on herbs, which can be expensive and can go bad because how many herbs are you using at once? You're not using a ton. You know right. what I mean? Of Am course. I getting too into this? And I think one of the great things, my favorite things to buy is mint because <laughs> then you don't have to buy gum anymore either because mint freshens your breath. And then you water it, obviously, mm -hmm. because the mint freshens your breath. H2O. And it's also really good for your digestive system. If you have an upset stomach, mint helps it a lot. <laughs> no. Yeah, the dirt is all over my hands, but I don't care. It okay. feels kind of good. Yeah. And even one thing you can do that we I mm, did at tasty. home for a little bit was um, you can, um, this might be getting like way too into green living, but you can make a compost pile and it'll break down, and then you don't even have to buy soil anymore. Oh my <laughs> because God. You have your compost. We used to do that at home. All right, Is, well. Am I getting too yeah, into this? I'm gonna cut you off now, but thank you for joining me, Madison. This has been a really amazing experience for all of us. Um, so that's it for eTalk this week. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, everything that you possibly can, follow us home. Kidding, don't do that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.